Hey, what's going on guys? Reverts here, and I'm back with another game playing commentary, and today I'm going to be talking about why I think that uh, MLG competitive gaming should be considered a sport or not. And before I get started, I really want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, please leave me uh, what you think, if it should be considered a sport or not. And uh, yeah, this is a topic that I've been uh, kind of pondering in my head for quite some time now. You know, I've been thinking, uh, you know, what if MLG competitive gaming could be considered a sport or should it not be? I mean, uh, there's a whole lot of factors that come into this and I really want to know what you all think. So leave me a comment down below and uh, let me know what you all think. But uh, before I get started, I'd like to say thank you for, to everyone who uh, applied for my tournament and everyone who participated in it. Uh, you know, it was really, really awesome. I had a lot of fun playing with you all. And um, yeah, the team that one y'all are gonna get your 600 microsoft points soon uh, i just need to get the money really fast and uh yeah i'll get you those really really soon but um yeah so let's go ahead and get into today's topic so uh as of lately guys i've been playing uh some mlg competitive gaming i participated in some tournaments with my team defined by nature and uh i've been just playing a lot of competitive gaming and i've gotten uh into it a lot lately but uh, what I've been thinking about in my head lately is should it be considered a sport or not? Um, me personally, I honestly don't think that it should be considered a sport. And let me tell you why, guys. And this is just my opinion. If you uh, you know don't don't agree with me, then please leave it down in the comment section down below, and I will respond to you guys. And uh, yeah, but um, the reason why I think that it's not should not be considered a sport is because you know you're you're not really really doing anything physical besides just moving your fingers. And, uh, you know, and a, a sport is supposed to be between uh, two opposing teams where they, you know, go in there in physical activity or training or whatever it may be. And like you say, take basketball, for example, you know, you're running up and down the court, you're dribbling the ball, you're shooting, you're doing all this other stuff. But, uh, you know, for gaming, you're just really moving your fingers. It's not really uh, much of anything athletic at all except moving your fingers. So that's really one of the reasons why I think it should not be considered a sport. But what I've been seeing lately is on like esports and stuff like that is that everyone they're they're kind of taking it to a sport sporting level if if, if that makes sense and um, you know people are saying like oh optical whoever is out with a thumb injury you know I saw someone tweet that out once and I was just like oh come on man is it like seriously so um, you know just the whole change that competitive gaming has uh, from back in. Uh, 2009, 2010. This a change of that is really, really awesome, and I do enjoy that. I love what they've been doing with the competitive gaming. But what I think is kind of, kind of funny is how they're like treating it like a sport, and how they're uh, making, making, um, you know, statements like that. But uh, you know, I, I, I like competitive gaming. I really do. It's uh, really, really fun, and I think it's a good way to show skill against yourself and against other players. So. Um, yeah, guys, you know, my opinion, I think that competitive gaming should not be considered a sport. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and more videos to come, guys. Uh, this is Reverts, and I'll catch you later. Peace.